Hi everyone, I'm Eva from Wikimedia Germany. Nice to see you. And I'm going to be talking about the Wikimedia Summit. I know we are already a bit over time, so don't worry. I will try to keep this short so we all get to lunch on time. So as I said, I'm Eva Martin. Some people call me Madame Summit because <laughs> a big part of my job is actually to organize the Wikimedia Summit. Can I maybe get the... No, maybe. Yeah. Can you maybe go? Actually not. Yeah, perfect. Maybe first question here, who knows what the summit is? Yes. Good, good, good. Who has uh, already been to a summit? All right. And now that's the question. Who is attending next year's summit? Qui sera au prochain summit? George, qui sera au prochain summit? Okay, let me just have a look. Nice. So, so Elian will also be there. Dominic, you will also join the next summit. All right. So that's also an opportunity, if she knows it, that's also an opportunity for you to already see and get to know each other because the Wikimedia Summit is, and now we can have the next slide. The Wikimedia Summit is the place for the affiliates and the Wikimedia Foundation to come together and to discuss strategic topics that have an impact on the global movement. So Wikimedia Deutschland is organizing it with the foundation. The affiliates will be there. AFCOM will be there. And an essential, uh, an essential stakeholder will be there too. And that's the MCDC, the Movement Charter Drafting Committee. We have George with us, who is part of that group. And you may be wondering, yeah, how come that those committees is going to be there? Well, it has to do with the focus on the, of the Wikimedia Summit next year, which is going to be around discussing the future of our movement governance. That's the main thing we want to do. There is this charter that's being drafted at the moment. By the time of the summit next year, it's not going to be finalized, but it's going to be on a pretty good way to getting finalized. And the idea is to use the summit as the place for affiliates to get together, to read the drafts and to make yeah, basically to get already an opinion on the drafts, potentially to make some recommendations on how the drafts could be revised so that then we can all move together towards ratifying the charter and building this new governance we've been talking about for years. That's the first, uh, that's the first focus of the summit. There is a second one and this actually is relevant for everyone, not just the people joining the summit. And it's discussing the future of these kind of events. I know we've said it in the past already, but I'm, I'm, I swear this is going to be the last summit of its kind. <laughs> I know we've said it often. Uh, this time we kind of mean it, at least from Wikimedia Deutschland's perspective. We won't be organizing the summit in 2025 and we will step out a bit and we hope that other affiliates and other groups in the movement will step up and take responsibilities to design and organize the next set of events that are going to be affiliate gatherings. If there is a need for it, that's, that's me teasing you already for something that I'm April three days conference happening in Berlin. Um, and we just realized that every time we do these kind of events, we are talking about strategy, we are talking about heavy content, and we know that there is a huge diversity in the movement. Some people know a lot about it. Some people are kind of like newcomers to it. Therefore, we decided for the first time to organize online engagement session. That's something we run in August and September. We run eight sessions where we tried to provide an onboarding concerning all this issue of what is governance, why is it even relevant to my community, uh, what's actually going to, what's actually on the table right now, how could the future look like, and so on. Now, this has been documented on Meta, and I'm going to share the link in our Telegram group soon. All the documentation is there. It means it's recording of the videos. It's the notes that have been shared there. And if you want, you can have a look at it. You can use all these materials to engage with your community. Every one of you who actually attended the session, um, again, I'm encouraging you to go back to your community, share with them what you've learned there. I know strategy sounds boring, but it is essential. <laughs> At least, so I believe. Um, okay, next one, maybe. Now, what are the next steps? We are going to be moving forward for the people that are attending the summit. We will soon start to book the travel. 
And now, and that's an essential message to all of you that are attending, please, if you need a visa, book your appointment now. Every year we are saying that a lot of people who need a visa are not getting it because it's just the delays are crazy. If you want to even book an appointment for some of the embassy, you need to wait six months. And the summit is happening in six months. So please, what you can do today is you can book your appointment if you've been notified and you know you're part of the participant list. We will get back to you in the coming days and you will get the invitation letter. Everything is on its way. So you will have all the documents you need by the time you're getting to the appointment. But please, the first step is you need to try and book your appointment. That's something we cannot do for you. First point. Uh, second point, for those of you that are not going to be attending on-site, there will be a possibility to attend the summit online and we will get back to you when we have more information. And there may also be a second round of those online engagement sessions, depending on the needs. All right, and my last point, so I was really quick, it's great. <laughs> my last point is, I mentioned already that one of the things we want to discuss at the summit is the future of this kind of gatherings. There are a lot of questions on the table. Does the movement need affiliate gathering? What do the affiliate want out of this gathering? And if there is a need for it, who should be organizing it? It's, it's a lot of questions. We don't have the answers. Only you do. We want to talk about it. We want to have a conversation about it. And we are starting it by doing an affiliate survey. We will be sharing it with all of the movements, so with the 180 affiliates um, by the end of this month. It's essential that you take the time and you fill out the survey because like, we want to hear from you. What's your vision? What are your needs? Um, what do you expect out of those meetings? And based on that, we will, during the summit, come together and discuss who should be, who could be taking over this responsibility. That's it. Uh, any questions? Yeah. So um, we're not affiliates, but we are very integrated into the, the whole as speaking Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and every year, yeah. we, you know, unless we're part of a yep. committee or something, we don't get, we can't. Mm -hmm. It's just we're not in the country. Yeah. So how does that work? And I'm not the only one. I know that there are other people and other groups and other, like, many yeah. Yeah. Very like good point. Very good point. Very good point. It goes back to the question, do we even need affiliate gathering or do we need a kind of global strategy meeting yeah. where then the criteria is just like, you know, who wants to take part in the strategy conversation? So that's something that's on the table. I should, yeah. Um, so far, you, you're completely right. It's just the system of the summit is, it's an affiliate gathering. So you only have seats for the affiliates. That's actually an issue, right? Because like the movement is way broader than this. Yeah. At the same time, if we want to have like high quality strategic conversation, it's hard to do it in like a Wikimania setting where you have like thousands of participants. So how can you balance those things together? Okay. So I don't have the answer, I'm sorry, but I that's exactly the question that we need to tackle. Okay like affiliates showcasing their work around movement strategy. And it was great, but we realized that we run out of time to actually really talk about the governance and, and things that required longer deliberation. So what we decided for this year is we are cutting off this part. There won't be any room for the affiliate to just showcase their work because we want to use all the time we have for like joint deliberation on the movement charter. So on this document that's being drafted right now and where we need to have this deliberation. It's something that I can't really answer now because they are, we are having ongoing conversa uh, conversation with the MCDC on that topic and we will be reading the draft charter. Thank you, Asaf. That's actually a very good chart. That's actually a very good chart. Exactly. Go and read them, get an opinion, and, and then, you know, come to the summit, discuss it together. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sorry, what, what was your... Uh, friends. friends. You mean, like, as a person? Yeah, friends. <laughs> but I work for Wikimedia Germany. Yeah. So, my, my, um, my first question is, are you aware that for some African countries, they need a visa to travel to Europe? Yeah. Because they're not going to be able to travel to Europe, like, outside mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I mentioned this. It's so we know it's it's an issue, right? Like every time we're doing the summit, we know it's an issue. It's one of the reasons why we're thinking of stopping to doing it and like questioning where should it happen? Because so far, all the summits always happen in Berlin, right? So we know every year it's just a lot of people who would like to join and cannot because of visa. And that's bad. And, and this is not how it should be. So for those of you, again, I'm repeating myself, those of you who are on that list, please book an appointment right now um, to get a visa. Okay, no, um, sorry. <laughs> that's fine. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> For um, diplomatica, yeah. it's not about booking an appointment, it's about the foundation or the people in charge, like the organizers, sending the required documents ahead. Yep. Like, ahead. Yep. And we are on this, so the, but the first step is you booking an appointment. So the first step on the whole That's process. Is... Oh my God. So it's, 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 like, exactly let me correct it yeah so good point let me correct myself yeah so, depend yeah um, with, uh, most of the conferences that are attended i think they have been able to do this like more than any other yeah 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 and to book an appointment, for example, the German embassy don't get an invitation to book an appointment. Yeah. So, oh, no, uh, right. I'm like, it's, 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 it's not the space. Sorry, I just want to say, it's not the space no. yeah. for a visa application. It's an important conversation. It's a, but it's an important conversation. Let's believe people when they say they need a document to book an appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Get the documents to them. Exactly. What you could do when you go home is just check with your German embassy what is required. I think that's the first step. Okay. Then you can relate facts. All right. You want to share the stage with me? You're doing this even better than me. Sure, correct. And please, if you have any issue or if you need an invitation letter for the appointment, contact us. Okay. All right? Thank you. Perfect. So You're welcome.